Hey guys, it's Lee. Welcome back to my channel and to this product unboxing. Um, so this is a new product for me. Um, so the company is Purdy and Fig, which I'm sure some of you may or may not may not have heard of. Um, and I've been intrigued by this stuff for a while because I keep seeing it advertised on Instagram and places like that. And I thought I would take, bite, well, bite the bullet and give it a go. So it's a range of cleaning products um, <clears throat> and they are, for all intents and purposes, multi-purpose and concentrated. So I am trying to reduce my plastic waste because I am conscious of the amount of plastic that I use in like scented clamshells and other things that is kind of unavoidable. Um, I suppose the plastic in scented wax is, unavo is avoidable because I could just not buy it. So it's that kind of trying to trade off using it versus reducing everyday use of plastic. He says drinking from a plastic cup. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, as you will have learned from various videos, um, I have been installing an ensuite um, in my bedroom, which means I've lost two thirds to three quarters of the storage space I had for clothes and other bits. So then where I used to store all my Scentsy Rats and all my cleaning products was in the earring cupboard in the, well, on top of the stairs. I'm having to sort that out because I'm having to move clothes and stuff into there because I don't have space for a hanging rail anymore. So I've been looking at ways of reducing the amount of product I use and just trying to get better at buying it as I need it. But the problem is I then end up running out because I think, I think I've got more than I have. So I've now ended up with like a load of bits of bottles. And so I thought, let's just give this a go because it's one product for bathroom because it's slightly more acidic and one product for the rest of the house. So yeah, I'm gonna give it a go. And the other thing I'm trying to do is reduce visual clutter um, for my own sanity. Um, and like, as I look through into the bathroom at the moment, I've got cream cleaners, I've got shower cleaner, general bathroom cleaner, toilet cleaner. Toilet cleaner is another product that I'm trying to look at how to reduce my plastic waste by buying refillable, um, like five litre containers. But they do work out more expensive than just buying the one-off non-refill type containers. So it's really hard to try and balance reducing plastic waste and cost. Because another product I found which I have ordered to try um, is refillable. So I, I bought Splosh refillable concentrated toilet cleaner. So you mix the gel with water, but it's really expensive. Um, so the bottles are great because the top twists off to refill and then you've got like the little cap then on the squirty part. But you in places like Asda and Morrison's, most supermarkets, you can pick up a bottle of toilet cleaner 70-75p for 750ml whereas the uh, powder refill concentrate things are like £8 for 6 and they make like 500ml bottles but I will give those a go as well and there's another product I've ordered which is from Neat which I'll go through that when I get it. So anyway Back to the product in hand, Purdy and Fig. So I went for the summer starter kit, the bathroom starter kit, and then I was, um, there was promotion with free bathroom freshener, toilet freshener drop things. So 
I'll have a look at these first. So this is called Odie Lou Lime and Lemongrass, and as I said, the company's Purdy and Fig. Um, and these are um, essential oil based cleaning products, which I like the idea of. So these are, as I said, the um, Odie Lou Lime and Lemongrass Toilet Drops. So love the bottle. Um, drop several drops into the loo bowl after flushing. Add a few drops to your drain to refresh your whole bathroom. Um, which is great because, as you probably noticed, I've now got like no crap behind me because the spare room is now finished. So all the furniture is back in there. <clears throat> I haven't finished sorting out all the crap that was under the bed because I didn't want to just dump everything back in there and forget about it. So while I've finished that, I'm still trying to go through all that stuff, sort the bathroom out because stuff's now been dumped in there that's had to be moved from elsewhere. Still trying to do the ensuite. Well, phase one of the ensuite. So life is still upside down. But as the spare room is finished, I've now relisted it on Airbnb. So I thought this would be like quite a nice little thing that just chuck a few down the drain or down the sink and in the toilet before guests arrive. So I'm going to have a sniff of this. So it comes with a little dropper that apparently you just use a couple of drops. So they estimate that this bottle will last a year. And I think, I think it was like £13 the bottle, or it should have been £13 the bottle. And actually, if you only need a couple of drops, yeah, I can see that it would last a long time. That's really nice. Yeah, that's really nice. Not sure like how long it will last, but I imagine that when you wash your hands, you would just have that like nice, fresh, citrusy smell come up to you. And then on the theme of bathrooms, I'm going to open the bathroom set. So this one is the Bathroom Bliss Starter Kit. So it's cardboard recycling, recyclable packaging. So this is the first time. So God, three simple steps. Pour in the 20 ml concentrate, fill with tap water, gently shake and spray. Lift the lid on a fresh approach to cleaning, simple natural ingredients, gentle yet effective and a pleasure to use. Ooh, so I wasn't expecting that. There is a leaflet and a microfiber cloth as well. Um, didn't see anything about that. Um, so we let's see what it says. Create a spa like sanctuary with the energized and essential oils in our blissful bathroom blend. Lime, lemongrass, ah. So that is going to be the same scent as this, um, which is cool. So at least once a week, or when the bathroom cleaning routine needs a little more oomph, where tackles hard water deposits, mild limes, ill on bathroom surfaces, including glass, mirrors, ceramic tiles and tubs, not suitable for use on natural stone. How pour 20 milk concentrate into the bottle, shake, uh, leave for a few minutes for, oh, um, spray and wipe for gleaming results. For more ingrained deposits, leave to work for a few minutes. Some areas may need a double application. And yeah, this is really nice. Really wasn't expecting this. Oh, it's upside down. Because I know some of the um, offers said like with a free cloth. So I wasn't expecting to have it as part of the starter kit. So that's really cool. So then you've got the Perdian Fig 300ml Bathroom Bliss Made in the UK spray bottle. And it says on here, enter your trigger spray, pour in concentrate, fill a bottle, fly through tap water 300ml and refasten. Spray directly onto any surface at home or in a, into a dry cloth and wipe surface. So that's, um, I think my only, not criticism, would be the top trigger moves quite freely, um, which may not be a bad thing. Um, but I don't know, I think I would just like feeling of it being a bit more um, secure but then I suppose that's probably just what I'm used to so yes glass bottle and it's got this like silicone non-slip base 
what I do like is you can actually, I'm sure, I'm sure I saw that you can buy the replacement sprays. Um, I'm sure that was there, um, or it might have been neat. But anyway, um, the only plastic on this is the spray, which is fairly standard. And then you've got the three glass bottles. That's another thing I liked about these was the fact that they're glass, so they are infinitely recyclable. And obviously this is going to be stronger. It's actually not as strong as I thought it would be, but that's not necessarily a bad thing because I do sometimes find that some cleaners can be a bit overpowering in the scent. So that's the Bathroom Bliss starter kit. And then the next one then is the Summer starter kit. <clears throat> so this one, there were two. There was a standard one and a summer one. The summer one was slightly more expensive because it came with an additional fourth cleaner, whereas the standard one is three. So this one basically says the same. Um, and I can already see that this comes with the cleaning cloth as well. Oops. Um, so yeah, that's another one of these. But this one, the it is slightly different. So you've got the Bottle for Life, which has a nice label on. Um, doesn't have the non-slip base, but I suppose things it's just yeah I suppose it's I don't I don't mind the fact it does this one doesn't have the non-slip base um, so this just says podium fig bottle for life counter clean and I do like the look of this um, I think for me the only thing I would possibly um, like to see is maybe having a black trigger spray as an option um, just because certainly in the ensuite um, when it's finished my it's kind of very much black and white so this will still fit in but the hand wash I bought is a brown glass bottle with a black pump um, the tap is black um, the toilet roll holder is black so though having said that this probably wouldn't be in there anyway um, so I don't know um, it would just be nice to have the option of a different colour trigger, but that's not really much. So this is the summer, um, one of the summer edition oils. So this is geranium and alang alang. Ooh, that's nice. Ooh, I really like that. That's nice. That, I don't know if there's rose in it. This one's got like a slight Turkish delight scent. I do like that. I do really like that. Um, yeah, I wouldn't like to say. That's the summer one. <coughs> they did. They was. Um, they do uh, three different summer ones. Um, so then this one is grounding vetiver. Um, so that's the grounding vetiver. Oh, that's nice. That's slightly earthy, really nice, quite fresh but earthy. That's really, really nice. Then this one is the balancing floral, which is very light. That's really nice light floral and then the last one is uplifting citrus so I'm I probably to start with the summer one first but I'm really looking forward to trying this uplifting citrus this might be nice in like the spring that's nice and <clears throat> I think they do generally do seasonal varieties because as I said the this was one of the three summer oils available and I did see a review 
where last year um, in the autumn winter time they did like three festive Christmassy wintry scents. So I'm quite sadly excited about that. <clears throat> um, and again, as I said, one of the great things about this is in the ensuite where the soil pipe is, where I've had to cut the cupboard to fit it over it, the cupboard door doesn't open because there isn't enough room to fit the bottom hinge and I don't have the expertise to actually make new holes in the door to move the hinge higher. That might may come in the future. Um, so that little cupboard you can pull the front off it. So I mean I'm going to use that for storing things that you don't need to access very often like this sort of stuff okay. especially because like the bathroom cleaner and this yes it may only last a month um, if I'm only going in there once a month it's not an issue to like tug the door off but when you look at the storage space required for one of these compared to one of these you can kind of see why I've decided to go down the concentrated like refill route so um, yes that's my little Perdian fig haul um, so what's what's all this little stuff oh so this set oh so the summer edition is a leaflet about it geranium and a lang lang um, a scent blend of enchanting floral gardens and warm spicy tropics that transport you to a tranquil paradise. Um, so geranium, coriander, hoewood, elang elang and clary sage. There was also citronella and naiuli which um, is designed to repel flies. So deter flies from landing on surfaces, um, features organic neem oil, a natural insect repellent extracted from the neem tree which is citronella, java, eucalyptus, peppermint, naiuli, with middle notes of geranium and lavender. Then there was also linden and lavender floral burst, which is rich floral notes of linden and neroli are enveloped by the soft green notes of lavender to capture the serene experience of sto strolling through a summer garden. And that's white grapefruit, linden blossom, absolute lavender and neroli. So if it wasn't the fact that we are at the end of summer, I would have probably gone and ordered those as well. Um, so then, ah, so there's leaflet then about the um, uplifting citrus, the fun and lively one, a characterful blend that's easy to love with refreshing juicy scent and cheerful mood enhancing properties, which is a blend of sweet orange, grapefruit peels and naioli leaves. Balancing floral is the positive and comforting one with an assertive rush of spicy rose notes to give away oh, spicy rose notes to give away to a soft balanced floral undertones for a sense of calm positivity and stability with rose geranium lemon peel and vetiver roots then we have the grounding vetiver the calming and confident one yeah i would say i would agree with that a complex and invigorating scent with woody earthy notes for calming and rounding effect essential oil blend of sweet orange coriander seed and vetiver that was very nice so then it's also a leaflet um, just how to use it um, where to use it so the counter clean is suitable for use on counter and stone wooden floors glass and mirrors bath and enamel um, they also say that you can spray it onto the cloth, wrap the cloth around a saucepan lid and use it to freshen fabrics. Um, so that means then that you can do away with your likes of Febreze and stuff like that. Obviously it takes a bit more effort as you actually need to do it rather than just spray it. But you know, depends what your jam is. Um, ooh. Ooh. Okay, so this says like well, um, what they're about. Um, shop with the refills by the QR code, you get entered into a monthly draw. Um, <clears throat> when you subscribe and save, you save 15%. So I did do this on subscribe and save. There's a um, 
referral thing which I will sign up for and if you want to give any of this a go I will pop the referral link in the description box below and it says give friends £10 off their first order and you'll get £10 when they make a purchase um, so yeah I'll leave that down below um, and then it says better yet you can return your empties of six or more and get five pounds off your next order more details on the website so yeah um, so send return six or more of these and get five pound off that's that's really cool um, because obviously they're not massive to store either so if you're storing them to send them back great and I really like that because it almost makes it a closed loop system so rather than just dumping these in the recycling, they obviously, I say obviously, I assume, they will wash them, disinfect them and reuse them. So that's really cool. Really, really happy with that. So um, yes, um, I will do, once I've tried the stuff, I think I will hop on and do a bit of a post-use review um, and let you know what I think of it. So, um, yeah, hope that was a bit of fun. And like I said, I will sign up for the referral scheme and I will leave a link down below. So if you do want to give it a go, you've got a 10 off. Um, and when I did the subscribe and save, it was cheaper, but it also gave you the option then that you can cancel um, pretty much straight away. You can change the frequency, you can, um, yeah, you can switch out, switch products, um, cancel, change frequency. It seems really, really flexible. Um, so yeah, um, I will catch you. Um, well, my next video will probably be whichever turns up first, the neat um, or the toilet cleaner. Um, so yeah, I will catch you there. So. See you soon.